Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a fixed header with Divi's position options. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So the first thing we need to do here is to go to our um, WordPress admin dashboard and then come over here to Divi and click on theme builder. So over here, you want to add our global header. So I'm going to click here and build global header. Now this header, we're going to build it from scratch. So I'm going to click here on start building. And then we are going to add a background color to our section settings. So let's close this for now and head over here to our section settings. I'm just going to snap this over to the left. It's easier to work like that. But anyway, so I'm going to come over here to background and set my background color as white. Now, by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Next, we're going to come over here to design spacing and we want to remove any padding on the top and bottom. So let's add zero here to the top and the bottom. Next, we need to add a shadow. So we're going to come over here, choose our shadow, and then we're going to choose the, uh, the style. And this is the one that we're going to go with. Now, there's a few adjustments we need to make here, and that is on the blur strength. So on the box shadow blur strength, we're going to change this to 50. And then we're also going to change our shadow color. And to do that, we just want to scroll further down, click on the eyedropper tool, and paste the value between the brackets, just like that. Okay, so as you can see, we've made that shadow really subtle. All right, so let's go ahead now and save this. And then next, we need to add our column structure. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and add a single column. So now that we have our single column, we just need to go in now and add our color for that column that we've just added. So I'm going to close this for now. Go to my row settings, background. And then I'm going to add my color in here. Next, we're going to come over here to design. And then we're going to click here on sizing. Use custom gutter width. We're going to set this to one. Now, the gutter width is the space between the columns. So we want to make sure that we don't have any spaces here. Right. So equalize column heights. We're going to set this to yes. And then on our width, we're going to set this to 100%. And the maximum width is also going to be 100%. So we want this to be truly edge to edge. Right, so the next step is to remove any spacing on our row. So I'm going to scroll further down, click on spacing, and then I'm going to add my padding here, zero, both to the top and the bottom. Now let's add our social icons. So to do that, we're just going to save this, click on this plus button to add our module, and I'm going to search for social follow, and these are icons. So by default, we have two. So you can just start adding more. So let's say we want to add, right, what are the most popular ones here? So let's see. Let's go with uh, Instagram. Okay, so now we have three over there, but you can always go in and add even more if you need to. Now that we have all these, the next step is to remove the color. And to do that, we just need to reset the styles. So I'm just going to go back, right click, reset styles and then I'm just going to do this to all of them like that so now the background color is gone next let's come over here to design alignment and just center it now for our icons we can either leave the color as it is or we can specify a color and to do that you just come over here to icon click on the icon on the uh, eyedropper tool and then you just paste your color like that now, you can also add a hover effect. So if you click here on this little uh, icon here, you can choose a different color here for hover. And if I go to my recent, I think I've used white, and here it is. So I can have a simple hover effect there just by adding my color like that. All right, so now that we have this going on, we also need to add a top margin. So I am going to come over here to spacing and add my top margin. And this is going to be 0.5 VW. Right, so now that I've added my margins, the next step is to save this. Right, so the next step is to add another row. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And this time the row structure is, or the column structure is going to be this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. So now with that selected, we also need to go into the row settings. So let's just close this for now and then go into my row settings. First of all, I need to come over here to design sizing and we want to make sure that uh, use custom gutter width is set to one and then equalize column height is set to yes. 
And as we did before, we are going to add a hundred percent both to the width and the maximum width. All right, so with all that now, the next step now is to add our top and bottom padding. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down here to spacing. And for our padding, I'm just gonna add zero, activate my chain. And now I've removed my padding on that row. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we are going to add a bit of CSS code just to keep everything all in the same line. So I'm gonna come over here to advanced, custom CSS, and then on the main element, I'm just gonna add this CSS code. And as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the CSS code and also if you want to use any settings that I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that we have this all set, I'm gonna come over here to content and then we're gonna go into column one settings. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon and uh, let's head over here to our design tab and go to our borders. So I'm gonna come over here, choose my right border. I'm gonna set this to two pixels and then I'm gonna give my right border a color. So I'm gonna scroll further down, click on the eyedropper tool and paste my color in here just like that. Okay, so now that I have my color set, the next step is to add an image to column one, and this is going to be our logo. So I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna save this one more time, and then I'm gonna click on this plus button and search for my image module. And I'm gonna go in now and choose my logo. So I'm gonna go with this one here as my logo, click upload. Next, I'm gonna come over here to design alignment and make sure that it's centered. Now, sometimes you may find that the size of this logo may not be right. So the best way to adjust that is to come over here to sizing and just adjust your width for this logo. So if you reduce it here, you can see the size is getting smaller like that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give this a specific size, which is 50 pixels. All right, so now that my size is all set, I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to spacing and make sure show spaces Below the image is set to no, because we don't want to do that. And then I'll need to also add a top and bottom margin. So I'm going to come over here to margin and set one VW both to the top and the bottom. So just make sure it's one VW. There we go. So now our logo has some breathing space. All right, so now that I have that set, the next step now is to add our menu. So I'm going to save this. And over here, I'm gonna click on this plus button and search for my menu. I'm gonna select it. And then over here, just make sure you choose your menu. So I've got mine set as main menu. So in your case, you need to go and create the menu and set it up. So next, I'm gonna come over here to background and make sure my background is set to transparent. And then I need to come over here to design layout and make sure that this is centered. So I'm gonna center it. And then the drop down menu direction, I'm gonna set it to downwards. Now let's style our text. So I'm gonna come over here to menu text and we are going to choose a font called PT Serif. And then we're also gonna give this a beautiful color, which is a dark gray. So I'm gonna click on the eyedropper tool and add my color. Next, I'm gonna set my size and my size here is going to be 18 pixels. So I'm gonna change this from 14 to 18. So if you have any drop down, you can go ahead and uh, work on your drop down menu and set your background colors. And to set it up, it's quite straightforward. You just click here on drop down menu. You can set your background color here and let's set ours here to white. So I'm just gonna drag this all the way up to the top. And then our line color, I'm gonna add a color that is on our color palette, which is that, and then moving on, I'm gonna scroll down here and choose icons. And this is for our hamburger icon. So here it is, I'm gonna click on that, paste my color like that. So that's gonna show great on mobile devices. So the next step now is to add a top and bottom margin. So I'm gonna scroll down here, click on, no, I, need, I don't need sizing, I need spacing. Right, so my top margin here is going to be 1.4 and I'm gonna make sure it's the same value on the bottom as well. All right, so now that I have that all set, I'm going to add a bit of code now. So to add it, I need to save this. 
come over here, click on this plus button to add my module. And the module I need to add is the code module. Select that and I'm gonna paste my code in here. Okay, so you can see here what it's doing. This is going to style this and readjust our settings as we navigate and use our website. So now that I have this all set, I'm gonna save it. So now I am going to use the DVs position options. So I'm gonna click here on section settings, advanced position. So here we are going to use our fixed position. So I'm gonna come over here, choose fixed and top center. Okay, so that's how it's going to be fixed on our site. So pretty much everything is all done here. I'm going to save this. And then what we need to do next is to build our global body. So I'm gonna save this one more time. I'm gonna close this and then click here on global body, build global body. So we're going to build this from scratch. So I'm gonna click on start building. I'm gonna close this for now. And in our section settings, I'm going to go to design, spacing and just make sure that my padding here is set to zero both to the top and the bottom we're going to save that and then come over here to our column structure and we're going to have one column and now let's go to our column settings and we are going to set our gutter width and i'm going to come over here to sizing say yes to gutter width and set this to one. And then we also need to make sure our width is set to 100% both for the minimum and maximum width. And then the next step now is to come over here to spacing and here on spacing, I'm gonna add a top and bottom padding, set this to zero, both to the top and the bottom. I'm gonna save that. And then finally, it's time now to add our post content module. So I'm gonna search for it and here it is. Now here we can further adjust this by going in and giving it some specific fonts and all that. But you know what, I'm gonna keep things simple here. I'm gonna go into my settings here and I'm gonna give this a top margin. So I'm gonna click here on design, spacing, and my top margin here is going to be 150 pixels. And then we're gonna save. Right, so now our template is looking good. I'm gonna save this one more time and then we're going to close. Save one more time here. And now when we visit our site, I'm gonna open this in a new tab. This is now what it looks like. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.